What makes the perfect horse trainer is a person who's willing to listen to the horse and doesn't try to put their own agenda above the horse's agenda. I'm Kyle Taylor Keller. I'm the owner and operator of Today's Equine. I'm training horses and people. I'm a coach. I'm an instructor. I try to do a little bit of everything. My mom had introduced me to horses when I was a baby. Somehow, I just got on and went. <laughs> and then I just remember them running after me and screaming, no, 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 don't do that, because I just took off Ganneron. And now looking back, I don't know how a three-year-old would have stayed on a pony to canter off. <laughs> really, any life skill I think I've learned through a horse rather than through school. But when I got into it, I realized that there was a lot of mistreatment. If you have to break a vertebrae to get your horse <laughs> to do something and help it win a class, that's not horsemanship to me. That was in 97 that I bought Cinnabar. He's who proved to me I wanted to be a horse trainer. He was really pushy. He would puff up and knock into you and he was pretty much a bully. Wyatt had worked for some other horses in these show trainer programs, was not working with him. I had just had it one day, so new soft spots, I knew some pressure points on people, uh, applied it to him, and essentially forced him down. And when I looked back at him, his eyes were just really wide. That's when I felt awful, that I had gone from him being a bully to now me being a bully, and he's scared. That, that broke me. That's what really woke me up and said there has to be a better way. I then found another method that was completely opposite of the show horse training. The reaction that I got in just a month's time, I went from fighting with my horse to having a partner and him being willing and it became fun again. Every horse that I've trained with, I've always developed a connection with. Having a bond with a horse really means mutual respect. It means that you have become a good leader. And a lot of people think leading is dictating. For instance, like slapping the horse and telling it no. It's not learning from that. That horse is gonna then develop a problem, so they'll sell it, they'll get another horse, it'll develop the same problem. That right there tells you that it's the human causing that. It's not the horse. The higher of a competitor that you want to be, the higher of a bond that you need. And in my opinion, in the horse world, it's lacking. We're actually finding more bonds with your backyard horse than you are with people competing at the top levels. This is not about forcing. This is not about scaring. I tell the horse to do it, and it does it. It doesn't take a hundred times before it does it. He understood and did it, and it was like a thank you. You're not speaking German to me anymore. I can know, I know what you mean. I guess that's what I want other people to know too, is that they can have that relationship with their horse. They don't have to force it. It can happen.